afternoon and good morning, I'm Chris Mullen and today we're continuing with, team one, eh? we're continuing with some Bunny of Isaac and we actually maybe can hopefully get a win, you know, it would be nice to see if we can actually do that. I was doing a normal Isaac run because, eh, normal's good. I am back from some time away. Knockout drops, take off, take a punch, cool. And it was quite nice, spending it with some family, we had a good time, it's me going away, lots of walking, and now because of that walking that we did, my legs now really hurt. <laughs> of course they would, right? Ooh, bombs, I'll take that. So yeah, it was uh, nice, although I did realise that for some odd reason, no idea why, it is harder to walk downhill than it is uphill. Like, my quads were fine, and, you know, I enjoyed the walk all the way up the hill, we got to a giant lake, which was nice, and, you know. But then, realising how far you've walked uphill, you know, your quads are kind of like, yeah, you know, we got a decent workout and everything else as well. Um, my calves were like, okay, dude, um, like, we've worked really hard as well, but you don't know it yet, and now you're going to walk downhill, and we're going to take the strain of walking downhill. So, like, can you please take it slow? And I was like, eh, let's go faster than I ever did before. And I'm still feeling that pain today. Which shows that I need to do more, or no, I need to do more calf exercises, yeah. You know? Which is fine. It's just, uh, it's just absolutely hilarious to me. Oh, I was going to get actually some decent from that. We did not. Um, yeah, I'll open this chest. Why not? Ooh, tears upgrade. Man, that's a great start. So, yeah. After enjoying that, was uh, quite nice. Although, I did kind of get a little bit ill towards the end of it. Mainly my own fault because, like, you know, out in the cold, the world nurse probably didn't happen as much as I should do. And... Not much you can really do on that front if you're an idiot like me. But you try not to, but you know you're an idiot, so it's what happens. It's what happens. We've got a lot of tier tiers upgrades, so um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this run already. Like, really looking forward to it. Give me more, like, tier effects and stuff like that would be nice. So make the most of it, and such. Ooh. We've got a key for the item ring. We just need some damage upgrades, and we're sitting pretty. So yeah, you probably can uh, maybe hear it in my voice a little bit, on just uh, how rough I've been. It's more... You know, the usual kind of like, just like runny nose, runny eyes, and all that jazz, which is not very pretty, but then it's like the cough that comes with it. Yeah. It's the tickling of the nose is always the worst. So there might be some weird cuts during the video where I decide to, like, you know, blow my brain through my nose out. <laughs> where my brain decides, you know what, I don't want to be involved in this skull thing. It's a bit too constricting for no apparent reason. But it is a lovely vicious cycle, I will admit that. Like, your eyes start to water because you know it just irritates itself, which causes your nose to irritate, which causes your eyes to water, and then, yeah, before you know it, your brain's on the floor. If I had one, um... <laughs> Alright, I got the week off, so I've done a bit of shopping to kind of alleviate the stress of having to deal with um, you know, 
me being ill and stuff. I've got a lot of other things I've got to sort out as well, and hopefully going got some plans to go and see a mate of mine if I'm feeling up to it, which I just got to confirm that. You know, so yeah, I'm all good, but I'm going to see you. Which can be very frustrating, because like, you know, when you don't feel great and you still got stuff to do, it's uh, more just frustrating than anything else. I used two bombs to get to this. Latch key, nice. I don't know what it is, but I mean, the chests are really kind of giving me good stuff today. But I do need two coins. And I will min max this floor a little bit. Let's try and get that. But yeah, I'm bad doing alright. A lot of weird um, thoughts about many things. And chat about issues that I've always had with the rare cars like other companies that I've been working at the moment, which uh, has not changed. No, it never will, really. You shouldn't have got to take time out for yourself, don't you, really? Or anything else. There we go, nice sneezing fit out of the way as well, because why wouldn't I have a sneezing fit right back to do a boss fight? I must be going for like a world record of like consecutive sneezes. You know, that aren't forced. Yeah, we'll take the bread. And Guppy's head and a tear effect. Take that. Can be said. Shame we didn't get any more um, coins, but beggars can't be choosers. That's what we would say. The main thing is I got enough tier effects to actually kind of make this stuff work. Eh, technically that's worth it. And we get a secret room as well. Which can lead me into a curse room. It gives me a card, which the world will use it. Ah, we get a sin, we'll take that. Like, if we get high enough luck as well, like, um... It'll work out quite nicely. Because we'll have more of our tier effects go off like on a consistent basis, which will increase our DPS that way as well. And now I'm taking those damage, because, you know... I wouldn't be me if I didn't, like, take stupid damage all the time. Nah, that's not worth it. Yeah, and that, like, um downloaded um, the Dragon Ball Z game, Sparking Zero, and been playing through that a little bit today, which is, I will say now, it's a really good game. I, I like it. Like, so much thought into, like, the detail of the characters and how they interact is evident in the game. Which you can definitely see. Like, it, it's clearly obvious to everyone how much effort's gone into that. Here I go. I feel refreshed. Is it like double healing or something? Hmm. What are you? Two clubs. We use you. More options. And we'll take that. And blow you up. You do give me coins, I'll take the spirit heart. Let's go. See what this one is. The Hierophant card would be nice. The full. And I think then there's also um, Metaphor as well, which I was thinking of getting as well. That's on my list of games I would like to play. Unfortunately, that might be a game that I might have to wait for a bit. Before I get it. 
It might, it might be one of those games where I probably just wait till it's on sale or something. You know? Like, it seems like a really good game and I want to play it. And I like my JRPGs as well. And we'll take that. Because I would like that. Believe me. Thank you. Just getting, like, a random... Um, Mushroom could be pretty useful. Look at this. Look at these dodging skills. Oh my god, I'm dodging like a maniac today. <laughs> I'm gonna say it now. <laughs> But, um, I'll wait until she finishes the room. How did I not get hit there? <laughs> How did I not get hit? I will take the HP here. Stem Stars also gives me shot speed as well, but... And we'll move on, next one. No deal with the devil, which was most disappointing. So yeah, the, the um, Dragon Ball Z game will think I'll end up probably playing through quite a lot. I will take those goblin. I do like that one quite a lot. And it's a luck based thing, so. Only got one luck for now, but it could be really good in the future. No. Other than that, like, is there anything else I'm kind of looking forward to? I mean, I did say that before that there wasn't much games I was like actually like excited for, and I completely forgot about them. It doesn't hurt. No idea what that does. Um. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, dude, you getting blown up. Spirit heart and two coins. Nice. So yeah, like um, I don't know. That there, there's a bunch of um, I'm still waiting like if I can make actual like games I would like to play. You know, there, 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 there's loads on my list that I think um, I should play or I need to play or stuff like that. But in the meantime, I'm just um, enjoying the ones I already have. I need to learn that. Don't need a key. I could bomb the donation machine, but I'm like, I'd rather try and keep building that up. If I can. That's what it be. I'm also still having, you know, inner personal conflicts with um, if my voice sounds correct on the new mic. <laughs> it's more of a me thing than it is anything else, but still, it's something that I'm like. Like, is it me? Is it not me? Ooh, you get, you get to fly. That is brilliant. Transcendence. Yeah, we'll take that. Now, I could take the wooden cross, but... At the moment, the Virgo effect and stuff like that is better. So, yeah, no. I mean, there's quite plenty of stuff that I'm actually looking forward to, but like most of it's like going to come like later on. It's not going to come like straight away. And you got to sit down and stuff. Okay, so how much money is it going to cost me? What games do I actually want? What games do I actually want to go get? Which ones should we purchase? These are all things I have to take into account before. You know. And then between that, also like, is it a game that I can genuinely actually play? Right. <laughs> So, th this is now going to come from, like, your, y you know, your average guy who's got a full-time job that basically is trying to play games at the same time, right? I don't have enough time to play all the games I would like to play. There are games I still have yet to complete because...
because the time investment for me is just like non-existent. Like I, I physically cannot play those games at all in any way, shape, or form. And I would love to. A good example of this is we take the stars culture away. I'll pick it up. Like it's, it's it, 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 you know, it takes it out of the pool at least. Um. I think a good example is uh, Red, Red Dead Redemption 2. I have yet to finish that. I know, it's horrible. Um, even I'm ashamed to say that I have yet to finish that game. But at the same time, I, I've got no choice. Like, I don't have enough time to sit there and try and complete that game. Like, at all, whatsoever, in any way, shape, or form. I would love to play it. And it's downloaded on my Xbox. <laughs> And then I get like an hour into it and I've still yet to complete the next mission. Like, do I really go through and try and complete the missions? Or do I just like enjoy playing the game, right? And then I feel like I've played for like an hour or two and I've yet to do anything with the game. That, that is generally what ends up happening. You know? It's not like a bad thing, it's just... It can be very difficult. kind of set yourself up to actually play some of these games if you don't have the time originally. And yeah, I just don't have the time at all. I would love to have the time to play the games and then, like, actual give them proper treatment. You know, make the most of them as such. Like, it would be great. I would actually love it, but... I'm just not able to. Which is a real shame, because, um... Yeah. I said, they, they, these are games I would love to sit there and play. And that's kind of why Metaphor is probably going to be a little bit down on my list of games I'll end up playing. I think there's a bunch of other games I haven't played. They're all JRPGs. I would think so I need to play those. They're on my list. And I got like, you know, 20 hours into the game and I'm like, oh, um, I'm probably like about like, a third of the way through. <laughs> or one fifth? Or. Yeah. Don't know what that does, so I'll buy it. Open your enemies. Be said for now. It's extra DPS that I kind of need. Come on, key beggar, give me something decent. Just take all my keys, I do not care. I said something decent. Like, you could have gave me, like, Duffy's tail, that'd be pretty good. I'd have like, taken that. Uh, more key in here? Fine, let's go face the boss. I'm not messing around with that. He wants to be a tool, he can be a tool. But yeah, I am kind of, um... I'm looking forward to playing some more of, um... Which uh, are the Sparking Zero, because... I just like that game, and it's the best. It's, it's whole design is really good, and yeah. You know? Like it's not a game I can fault in the sense of like what it does and what it can do. Yeah. Um, I would like to get squeezy, but I'm probably near the tier cap, so we'll take Jesus Juice to give me some damage up. Now, Horror of Babylon. Is that something we want to take? I better kill that. Not really, because I can't actually use it. And I'd rather have the HP. So that would incentivize me to get rid of all my HP. Okay, let's min max this four, shall we? The deal with the devil was terrible. We did not succeed in getting what we wanted. So. 
Let's work our way around the floor. Maybe get some extra keys we can just waste in the key beggar. Maybe get some ducky items. That'd be nice. Okay. Maybe get some guppy items. Waste more coins into uh, the reroll machine because we do have one luck. Again, blown up. Thanks, the extra key. I'll take it. We're going to min max this floor just because I want that key beggar to give me something decent. That's pretty much the only if he doesn't give me something decent, then I'm going to be very disappointed in this as an entire waste, but, you know. I have done many things that are a waste of my time. What is one more? Eh, some good luck. That's it, give me spiders that I will never use. I mean, I will use them straight in the next room, but... Yeah, Guppy's tail would be nice. Guppy? I mean, if I do get Guppy, um, as in uh, nine lives, I'll be very disappointed. Just because... Like, I could have taken the Horror of Babylon then and actually benefited from it. Uh, normal chest in here, we're not going to bother with that. Actually, we'll do it. Take the full card. I punched it off the screen. Which does not work out for me very well. Okay, we have min-maxed this floor. I have done everything I possibly can do. Let's go give these... F All right, like I said, we'll give two keys to the beggar. And then we'll leave him. We'll blow him up, actually, but yeah. Okay, you're just getting blown up. What else we got on here? Hill? How full? Nice. We'll take it. I should probably donate on this floor, but I need like 11 coins, I think it is, for the uh, luck upgrade, so we'll leave it. There is no point in me trying to force that out. I still do laugh. I mean, out of all the games I play, I did... did this was something that I used to do when playing like snooker or pool or billiards essentially for people that uh, are American and play other types of cube-like games. But I play a, I used to play a lot of that when I was younger and there's a there's a few snooker centers that kind of um, have themselves set up or like pool center and stuff like that where I would end up going there and just playing games with people and having a laugh and you know any pub that had a pool table was pretty much something that I attached myself to fairly early on you know because that's what I did and I got known as just being um, on it or not on it pretty much all the time so, like, I would play a game, and people would look at me and be like, Oh, mate, you seem really good. Like, you want to do this? And then i play a game with them. Like, yeah, sure, man. I'll play a game with you and see what you think. And then i play terribly instantly. It's something that I'd sit there and I laugh at because I used to play a lot with my stepfather quite a lot. And he taught me a lot about, like, playing pool and stuff because he used to do quite a lot as well when, like, he was younger. And I could pull off shots that he would look at me and be like, how would you even do that? And then I go and lose to my mum and my sister, who have like barely ever play, and I like miss shots. Uh, that were like clear, easy pots, and they you just look at me like, 
What are you like? And I should be like, that's the way I am. I'm either amazing or useless, and I'm never in between. It reminds me of um, my football career as a, as a young teen and playing football. Didn't last very long. Um, I mean, it did. I, I played from like, what, since I was like 10 to like the age of like 16, 17. And I could do everything except score goals. <laughs> I generally could do everything except score goals. And I would like I'd have moments where I was like I was just like playing like out of my mind and then the next moment I just like fall over my own shoelaces, you know? It was the run rule I had to live by, like if if if, if I was gonna do something, I'd end up um you know making one decent play and one horrible play right afterwards. No way getting around it. I'll take car battery. Extension cord appeared in the basement. Nice. Ah, uh, we don't care about that. I mean, we do care about it, but we don't. Come on, Mom. Let's go. You got good items in this run. I just don't have damage again. I would like some like other tier effects that gave me damage, or at least artificial damage. Right? That like that, that generally would be nice. What are you gonna do, right? What are you gonna do? Yeah, it was it was um, a humble brag, humble brag. Um, when I used to play football, I got well known for at the time having one of the longest throw-ins for football or soccer in my entire league. Like genuinely. Even like smaller size pitches and stuff like that, and then when we move to the bigger ones, like if you gave me the ball on the halfway line, I could put it in your box. It made no difference to me. And the thing is, because I got well known for it, I barely ever did it. <laughs> I think well, if you got like the longest throw in the tech, like thing, like like why wouldn't you like just bang the ball to like all the dangerous places for everyone? Like. Yeah, like, I generally would do that, like, to start off with, it's exactly what I did, and then people caught on to what I could do, and then I didn't do it anymore, because if I kept doing it, it wouldn't become a thing I could do anymore, right? So, kind of what I mean is, like, um, everyone knew that I had, like, one of the longest throwing techniques, so they would all mark players that were, like, the furthest away from me, and as far back as they possibly could do, because they knew I could just throw it over the heads and football um you cannot be offside um from a throwing so it just meant that you know if they didn't mark players that were literally like the other side of the pitch uh, that's where the ball was going so that's what they did they everyone marked those players and then eventually like i just kind of sat there twiddling my thumbs being like okay i'll just give it to the guy next to me And it was generally one of the things where you could just see like, the opponent's team manager being like, do not give a throw-in in this area. And I was just like, you know what, that's the nicest thing anyone said about me. <laughs> you know, I, I, I played left back, you know, left back in the changing rooms, all the usual jokes, hey, you know. <laughs> I played left wing quite a lot, and I didn't actually play left wing. I mean, I, I mean, I played left wing, but I wasn't left foot, so... It meant for a very interesting bunch of games, and I remember 
some advice my dad told me when I was playing football was I didn't have to be good with my left foot. Like I didn't have to be good. I just have to be good once. And that once has to be the first cross that I make in every game with my left foot. You know? And that kind of stuck with me quite a lot. So, like, I practiced, like, stupidly hard as well to get, to make sure that I could put one decent cross in with my left foot if I set myself up properly. At which point, any player I came against, at which point, would never put me on my left foot ever again. Or at least they would think about it, right? And if they thought about it, I could put a cross on my right foot. And then we go back to the usual, um, Okay, sorry there, I think my recording kind of cut out a little bit, and I'm not too sure where I was in my conversation. Um, but we'll continue. I mean, oh, I just... <laughs> uh, the invisible spike chess. That's annoying, that is. Uh, I'm never going to fall for a spike chest like that, a trap chest again. But they killed us. But yeah, I was joking about the football and stuff, and the fact that I never score goals, but it is what it is. That, that's my luck example <laughs> of everything that always is happening to me. But anyway, if you do enjoy the video, do leave a like, subscribe to see more, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.